uh, there are people out there who may have some sins and they admit to being sinners. And so this person who is sinning, what does he want after his sin? He wants to repent and seek forgiveness. And so seek forgiveness from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, repent to him. But he does not seek forgiveness from Allah, neither does he repent to Allah, nor does he want to invoke Allah. So then who do you call upon? He goes to the inhabitants of the grave and he invokes them. And had the inhabitants of the grave had any ability to help, they would have helped their own selves. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he is a Samir, the all hearing. And he's Al Mujib, the one who answers the supplications. And he's Al Qareeb, he is close in his answering of the supplications. And he's Al Rahim, he's the most merciful, the one who bestows mercy. And he ordered and commanded us to invoke him and seek forgiveness from him. And he did not order us to invoke the inhabitants of the grave. And this person who is going and invoking the inhabitants in the, of the grave, he ties himself, he travels, he searches. But why is he tiring himself? Why is he searching? Why doesn't he seek forgiveness from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and make his actions sincere upon the tawheed and so Allah will forgive him and answer his supplications? Even the kuffar of Quraysh, when they were in a time of severe difficulty, they would call out to Allah, مُخْلِسِينَ الْهُدِينَ Making their actions sincerely for him. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He did not place between Him and between creation, people in the middle or interceders. Rather, He ordered the people to direct their worship to Him. Even Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, He does not possess the right or the ability to intercede. And this is because on Yawm al Qiyamah, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he will not begin a Shafa'a until Allah Subhanahu gives him permission to do so. And this indicates and proves that a Shafa'a is the sole and exclusive <coughs> right of Allah Subhanahu. In fact, after every Adhan, we supplicate to Allah Subhanahu that He will give the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam that place or that status to make the Shafa'a.